Hi guys, how are you? SBG Australia. We're just looking at uh, the Kimura from the guard here today and we're going to look at a couple of special ways to finish it when you strike trouble in the guy defence. So let's get started. So there's lots of ways you can set this position up, but the classic way we all learn at the start is to lift our hips, scoop under his hands and bring them down, grab the wrist, sit up and attack. From here normally we just want to shift our hips and come across to finish the Kimura. In reality, once you're in this position, most people will hide their hand grab their leg and shift their weight across onto their other leg to make it harder for you to pull out. Now, there's lots of options here. I can bridge hard up over this way and try and reverse the situation. But often just sitting here trying to pull is not very effective. So something that I've found works really well is that concept of trying to use whatever's free in this situation. Rather than focusing on the problem, use what else is available for me. So here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my foot down. Rather than bridging hard over this way, if I can't get the sweep, I'm going to pull him forward and now with my foot I'm going to access his ankle with a hook. So from this position now when I pull I can extend my leg and I have two pressures rather than one. So I pull and push, the hand slips out, it can't resist that sort of force. Now I can shift my hips and come back to finish the floor. So one more time, set up the same, hand down, sit over, I go to put the move on but he defends accordingly. So from this position, I can bridge and try and switch him over, but if that fails, what I want to do is I'm going to bridge forward and bring him forward, bring his weight forward just enough so that I can access his hook here, okay? Now again, push and pull. It's very hard for anybody to resist that. Escape my hip, come up, finish the more up, okay? Occasionally though, again, those first two pressures won't work. So we get the position, Sit up and over. He's got a really strong base. I can't bridge him this way. When I pull him forward, I can't bring him forward enough to get my hand in, to get my foot in here, sorry. So from here now, what I'm gonna do is if the failed bridge, I'm gonna then escape my hip and suck my knee in front of his hip. Okay, so this just comes to the front of his hip here, just in far enough so that now I can, I can use my hips and extend to bring his arm out. Same again, very hard for him to defend against that. Once I've got his arm out, I shift again onto my hip, come back and finish the position. So three nice ways there just to overcome the resistance that you'll find when he hides his hand in his leg.